Hey friends. So this morning I did a practice with my class and from my morning meditation, I got a very strong sense to ask the question, who am I? And when I got really still and quiet, I had this sense that I had forgotten who I was. The world right now is challenging and it's chaotic. It is, however, an opportunity for us to get re-familiarized with ourselves. I had a conversation with the women in my class and we talked about how this sense of distance from everybody else and while it's challenging because as humans we need that connection and we're feeling fatigued from Zoom <laughs> chats and um, the fatigued with not being able to return to our normal activities and, and not feeling that sense of community. We're fatigued with all of that. However, this time is also giving us an opportunity to come back to ourselves, to recognize who it is we are. So we did a little bit of practice this morning and that practice involves energizing into the first chakra. Our first chakra is that sense of safety and security, but it is also this sense of self, the foundation upon which you are built. So just let me know in the comments, how are you feeling right now? Are you feeling fatigued? Are you feeling a lack of this sense of community? Are you just, what are you feeling? What, what's going on? It's been, this has been going on, you know, in the United States, I feel like since March. <laughs> and it's now almost November. It's been going on a long time. We know that it will probably continue. We are actually seeing uh, a second wave of cases of COVID and I just want to check in with how you're doing. <laughs> I'm Stephanie Carter Kelly. I'm a physical therapist and I use yoga really infused in everything that I do. This work that I do in the chakras is deeper work than just working with the body. As a physical therapist, I would just deal with the symptoms of the body, but now I know that those symptoms of the body are telling us more about our sense of self. So, I wanna give you this morning a bit of an energizing practice for that first chakra, the foundation of you, so that you can come back to yourself. So we're gonna do it in standing. So you can do it in sitting too if you wanted to sit um, in a chair, but we're gonna bring awareness all the way back down to the feet. So just bring some awareness to the feet. Feet, when I do mountain pose, they're hip width distance apart and feels more comfortable in my hips. But I want you to notice your heels sit into your heels. As you sit into your heels, I want you to be aware of your tailbone. Draw that tailbone just a little bit down to connect with the energy, the pressure that you feel in those heels. You can have your eyes open or your eyes closed, but just bring your awareness. Maybe you take your gaze down a little bit, taking your gaze down, bringing some awareness to the base of your torso to your feet and just noticing those feet weight into the heels and then let's do a little tiny spiral a little circle a clockwise circle where you're taking your body weight 
and feeling it throughout the pressure of your feet. So into your heels, around to the left side of the foot, across the balls of the feet, into that right side of your foot, into the heels. Just little tiny circles. Notice what you feel up into the rest of your body. Let there be some relaxation around the base of the neck. The shoulders drop away from the ears, but you're energized in through the lower belly, drawing that tailbone down to the floor as you create these little tiny circles. And now go counterclockwise. And maybe what you notice as you go in a different direction that it feels a little bit uncoordinated, a little bit difficult to do to go in a different direction. That's what these times feel to us. We're uncomfortable with the situation that we're in right now, being separated from loved ones, not being able to freely move about like we want to whether that's imposed from the outside onto us or that inner sense of responsibility that we feel that we don't want to move freely about because we want to keep ourselves safe and secure and our loved ones and those around us, our community, keep it safe and secure. <clears throat> but again, it's an opportunity. So connecting with your feet. Now bring that weight into your heels again. I'm gonna turn sideways just so you can see what I'm doing. So your weight is into your heels, but we still wanna energize into the lower legs. So can you just rock back and forth, lift your heels up, rock into the heels, lift the balls of the feet up, and just kind of rock back and forth. Notice what that does to your torso, the other muscles of the legs. We're just bringing some energy to those feet while we work those muscles of the lower legs. As you rock back into your heels, you should feel that lower belly draw up to keep you from falling back. As you rock to the, to the balls of the feet, you'll feel the, the glutes tighten and squeeze to keep you from falling forward. So that's all about engaging and energizing, <coughs> excuse me, those muscles at the base of our torso. Now sit into the heels a little bit. You can walk your feet a little bit wider. Draw that lower belly up, but sit those heels back. Come to chair pose. You can do arms overhead. You can do arms across your chest, arms reaching out forward, and then stand. Sit back into your heels. So now you wanna feel that in your thighs. Again, we're just energizing the legs so that we can feel that strong foundation for our first chakra, for that sense of ourself. Who am I? We could sit and meditate, or we could do some strength practice so that we bring some intention and some awareness to the movements that we do. When we create the strength throughout the lower body, we strengthen that foundation. Put your right foot forward, your left foot back. And just balance in this position. Notice what you feel through the legs. That front thigh should draw up and hold you nice and steady. Push into that back foot. Feel that glute working. Again, just hold your balance, but use the muscles of the legs to hold your balance. Feel that lower belly draw up. Nice and strong. Again, in that mountain pose, so that your torso is nice and long and lifted. If you feel any tension in the low back, just draw that tailbone down strongly, taking any tension out of that low back. Even if you're at work, you can do this practice. Just stand up and energize. Sometimes the tasks that we do at work, some of the situations that we're put in at work pull us away from who I am. 
step your left foot forward, your right foot back, we'll energize in the other way. This is great also for people that sit because you're getting a little opening through those hips. Feel the weight into the heels. The whole foot planted on the floor. Arches are lifted and energized. Kneecaps are lifted, energize those thighs. Feel the glute working, that lower belly working, drawing that pubic bone up, the tailbone drops down, and just lengthen your entire spine. Holding your balance, but using those muscles to support you. So even when you're pulled off balance, when your routine is disrupted, you can return back to this nice, steady, supported sense of yourself. and then just relax. So let me know how it feels to just energize those legs. It's supposed to ground you a little bit, grounding you into you when you're pulled off in all directions. So because the world is a little bit chaotic right now, we need more of these practices. You can add this little routine into your day and feel like it gives you that sense of security, that sense of self that you need. Again, I'm Stephanie Carter Kelly. I'm a physical therapist that uses yoga in everything that I do. Have a great rest of your day. Tap into you. We need more of you. Namaste.